Y'all, I was just watering and a polydomus uh, butterfly is still here. Is it my garden? Let's go see it. Now, I don't even know if I got it on film. It flew off. I'm hoping it'll come back. But just to show you my woolly Dutchman's pipe vine is right back here. And ready and waiting for eggs. It's even blooming. So come on back, Polydomus. Come on back. Oh, and you know what? There's ugly old air conditioner. Y'all remember ugly old air conditioner and how I was so overseeing it. Well, I was just sitting out here watering and I realized that from over here, you don't really see it anymore. I mean, you can kind of see it through, but yay and from over here either you don't even see it's there nor do you see the ugly white panel below the screen i mean look at how that looks now i have got to share some appreciation for this because y'all know my past videos how this area here was in need of some help and now look at it but also look at my <laughs> sweet almond. <laughs> I had plans for that though, and it's gonna be cool, I think, because you all know how I've been working on this, trying to shape it. Well, I have an idea, but that will probably be in a future video, so keep watching. Y'all, I have this balloon milkweed growing right here. And it looks like there's some eggs on it. They don't look super viable though. Some of them are starting to turn black. Shoot. Oh yeah, look at them all. And they're not turning black because they're um, parasitized. They're just not viable like nothing comes out of them let me show you see if they'll start turning gray at the bottom yeah these are not viable eggs well i'm disappointed i i saw an egg earlier and i thought i'm just gonna go put that whole plant inside and let those babies hatch look there's two of them can you see how they're turning gray at the bottom yeah not viable okay y'all i just found some eggs on this balloon milkweed you know what else is on here look there's there's monarch eggs the little white dots and there's ladybug eggs that little yellow patch There, I zoomed. So I'm gonna take this cutting in and I'll get some ladybug larva and hopefully, I see at least two eggs. Hopefully, oh, there's a third egg. These eggs will be viable. Let me go get my trimmers. One thing to note with balloon milkweed is I find the cuttings don't do so well, um, like as tropical. So any new growth at the top, it's best to trim off. So, well, first I'll check and make sure there's no eggs on any of these top pieces. But um, these will be the first to wilt. But if I trim them off, then the water can be distributed amongst the rest of the plant. Okay, monarch eggs and ladybug eggs. <laughs> That's the first time I brought ladybugs egg eggs in. Are safe in the enclosure and hopefully I'll get a few caterpillars. Y'all look what's going on in this enclosure. You see these? These are, um, I don't know how you say it, cal calcid wasps. 
and they're coming out of this chrysalis, which I bet was parasitized. Oh my gosh, that breaks my heart. All these nasty little things that are no longer going to be a nuisance, because I'm going to go take care of them, um, consumed the butterfly to be that was in this chrysalis. And they're all coming out. Oh my gosh, poor, poor thing. Look at them. Do you see them coming out? That's disgusting. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I'm going to take all of these guys out. And that's just one of those disgusting things. So I'm going to actually put some bleach in a dish and submerge this because this is not going to be a butterfly. And then I'm going to spray all these guys. Okay, that looks like enough. And now we're going to submerge this chrysalis. So that no more of those nasty boogers. You can see those dark lines. That's not a good sign. And the hole, always a sign of those. Ugh. There. Any of that are left in there are no longer going to be. And then this enclosure is going to get scoured. You know, I have heard that um, like places sell these to like farmers to keep caterpillars off of their crops. They're looked on as heroes. Okay. I'm going to keep this sealed up and then wait for them all to no longer exist. And then I'll hose this out really good and let it bake in the sun. Oh my gosh. They're tiny little things and they lay their eggs in um, the, uh, is it the J hanger? It's either the J hanger or right immediately after they pupate um, when their chrysalis is not hardened they'll lay their eggs in there and then the little larva will eat the butterfly or caterpillar slash butterfly and then grow and turn into these little boogers and then they'll just bore a hole in the side of the chrysalis and come out like I unfortunately was just able to show you Oh, I feel itchy. I have to go take a shower now. Okay, so while we're here in this situation, you know, there's always an opportunity for a little education. Now, I am not a super expert by any means on the chrysalides of swallowtails. But what I can tell you I do know is that this section here should not have any dark stripes and it should be a little bendy watch see how i can bend a little bit do it this way see how it moves Mhm. Mm and that is a good sign of a viable caterpillar see how or butterfly see how this one bends a little I think this is the one that was wiggling. And I think it should bend and then close back. See, this one's not closing back. But I found that's not always the case. So hopefully he's okay. But I don't see any dark marks on that one. And then, then there's this little guy. And this one seems pliable. So I'm hoping they're all all right. And you guys, this is also a good reminder of a couple of things. First of all, it's important to check your chrysalides regularly. Second, it's a good idea to get the chrysalides out of um, where the rest of your caterpillar community is. 
in case something like that were to happen. Um, those chalclid wasps could immediately go and um, re-enter a J-hanger that happens to be in the enclosure or one that's just pupating. So if you have them, all the chrysalides isolated in one enclosure and you're checking regularly, you can remove, and I should have, I should have looked. You can remove if you see those dark stripes forming or it's just getting darker and, and not, not bending, um, isolate it into its own enclosure. But then if per chance, but then if per chance they do get out, like you just saw happen to me, um, they're stuck in there. Like they can't get out of that particular enclosure. So now I'm going to head on down and gather up as many chrysalides as I can find in that enclosure, just in case they're infected also, and to make sure they're out of there so that no more of the wasps can do their, their nasty thing to that what was going to be a gorgeous creature. Nature is something. Mm -hmm. But we as humans... We're the top dog, mm -hmm. so I, I feel it's a good thing that we're doing a little bit to help them out. I hope y'all get the reference um, in the title of this video to uh, Clint Eastwood, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. My husband is a huge uh, Clint Eastwood fan. He loves watching the old movies and um, I thought it was an appropriate title considering what has gone on in this video with my black monarch eggs and a, a child clid wasp explosion in the nursery. But there's so, so much more good. And we're going to keep thinking positive and keep bringing the good. So I went out and brought in every chrysalide I can find. I'll show them to you in a minute. But I thought, well, I'll just show you how I make the little pocket protector. So I literally just take a strip of paper towel and then I fold an edge up and then I just staple the two ends. And then I take a straight pin and I'll literally just run the pin through the back of it and attach it to the side of an enclosure. So let me show you the little guys. Now I did say, you know, if they look darker, but I meant the, the lines, like between the lines on the bottom, if it's bendy, see how he's bendy? Because their color varies based on where they pupate. For example, this little guy right here pupated up at the top of the enclosure, which is black. And this little guy pupated underneath a leaf of a plant. Oh, look how completely different they look. Yet they're the same type of caterpillar. Isn't that, I mean, nature, nature is just amazing. So even though this one's dark, that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. It doesn't have dark lines forming dark bands across, across the bottom there, like that other one did. And this one is a little bendy. So I am going to make pocket protectors for all of these guys <laughs> that I found out in the enclosure and they are going to stay in here where we can keep watch. And there they all are tucked in to their pocket protectors. 
all settled in for a short summer's nap. <laughs>